Well, the controversy over gun control continues now. Tucson City Council is sending a new message to gun shows. They either have to require background checks for person to person sales or take their gun show somewhere else. Not on your side's Craig Smith joins us live now from City Hall where council voted on this issue. You know, Jennifer, the council concedes that it really cannot do a whole lot under state law to control gun sales. But it certainly does control the Tucson Convention Center, so it does have the freedom to keep out those gun sales altogether if they don't agree to do background checks. Council members Kazachek and Ulik proposed the ban, but all council members voted for it. Kazachek says there is no reason the city should book gun shows at the convention center if private sellers there are free to skip background checks for buyers. Kazachek says background checks are not perfect, but they do help. Since 1999, uh, $1.7 million in purchases have been rejected by people failing FFL background checks. Person-to-person -person sales do not require those. He says requiring checks takes away a second chance for someone who should not have a gun to get a gun. The chamber was full of supporters who say the council rule makes sense. But that's just a baby step. I don't know if Tucson can do much beyond that because of state regulations and national laws and so forth. I certainly think in this country we need to go beyond that and I strongly support President Obama's proposals. Opponents were angry they did not have a chance to speak. No one on either side spoke before the vote. Council rules say study sessions only have speakers the council invites. Citizens can speak at the regular meeting. Gun rights activists say the city's getting in the way of their rights to sell their guns and wasting a chance to rent TCC and make money for taxpayers. The woman who puts on the shows says she usually pays the city about $50,000 a year and she'll just take her business somewhere else. Fair to say you don't really need TCC? We don't really, but it's an issue of them stripping the citizens of their Second Amendment rights and I would think the city needs the funding. Now, are, are you going to challenge this in some way other than taking your business elsewhere? I can't financially challenge it in court, and at this point, I don't believe Gun Owners of America or the NRA wants to challenge it. Now, if you look behind me, you can see there's a pretty big crowd already starting to gather. You can count on them giving the city council an earful in the public session when they are allowed to speak to the members of council and tell them what they think. Craig, if the public wanted to convince the council to reverse this plan, could they do that? Well, you know, the council does seem pretty set on this course of action, but potentially there is a, a te potentially technically there is a possibility because the action is really not official until there is a formal resolution ready for a formal vote in about two weeks from now. Well, we'll see if anything happens between now and then. Craig, thank you.